How's it going guys? I know this can't just be me. I go to my phone, try and log into an application, and sure enough, I've forgotten the password. I tried two or three times with two or three different variations of my password, and more than not, I just end up going to forgot password and then resetting the password through my email and different things like that. Recently, I actually had someone come into Vine Maple Place and speak with the youth there, and they showed us this really cool system that we could use to never forget our password again. And tonight, I want to share with you uh, just a little bit about that and how that works, and how I'm starting to implement it, and how just impactful it's been for me. When creating a password, there's a few things you want to make sure you have. Most sites require that you have a password that's at least eight characters long. They usually require a capital letter, uh, a number, maybe a special symbol, and that it doesn't recommend it that you don't make it someone's name or a birthday or pet for dog's name or anyway. So this system, it'll kind of break down the different aspects of that and, um, and you'll never forget a password again if you just use this across all your platforms. So let's dive in. password system is a four part system and what we're going to do is I'm just going to do three examples with three different applications so you can kind of see how it's drawn out, how it works and how you can apply it across a bunch of different platforms. So for the first one we'll say is Facebook, second one we'll say is Google. And because it's creeping up, we'll do the last one is TurboTax. Why not, right? Um, and I'll do this, this is a special example on that last one. So, uh, like I said, it's a really a four part system and the first part is pretty straightforward. What you're gonna do is in the first kind of section is you're just gonna take um, the first letter of each of the words in in that application's name. So for Facebook, it's gonna be F. Google, it's gonna be G. For TurboTax, you can do TT. Um, again, this will vary depending on what application you're using, but pretty straightforward. You can change this. You can use the first four letters, however you wanna do it. I keep it pretty simple, just so I don't get confused. The next part is kind of where the magic happens. This is um, what many call like the secret part. This is the part that you don't wanna share with anybody, but it's specific to you. And I'm gonna to switch to another page just so I can explain um, a little bit around, um, around this part. So really what you wanna do is you wanna create an acronym that is impactful and meaningful to you that'll be easy to me memorize. So what I've seen in the past is um, maybe just a popular nursery rhyme. So some people have done Jack and Jill went up the hill. Maybe not a, a lot of meaning, but a lot of people know this. So what you do is kind of similar to what we did in the first step. You just take the first letter of every word and you cr and you kind of combine those uh, to create your super secret part. So um, Jack and Jill went up the hill. So your secret part would be J-A-J-W-U-T-H. Pretty simple, right? And that's not anything anyone's gonna guess and it will be specific to you so you don't have to write it down. So other examples that I've seen people use is um, maybe it's their siblings names or their kids names. So maybe you have, a, a uh, we'll just say a sibling named Bob. Jeff, Christina, and we'll just stay with Jill, why not? Um, so same kind of thing, maybe you do it by oldest to youngest, something like that that's specific to you. So you can literally make this out to BJCJ. That's another example. Um, I've seen people use their favorite 
Bible verse. So for me, that would be John 3.30. He, he must become greater, I must become less. So something that I might use would be, he must become greater, I must become less. It's really something, just whatever specific to you, um, that you can remember that's easy to apply across the board. So let's just use for simplicity's sake, we're just gonna use this middle one here. So this BJCJ and we will come back and apply it. So our secret part, so this is something, again, you don't wanna write down, you're the only one that you want, or you're, you're, you wanna make sure you're the only one that knows this part because you will apply it to each of your passwords. Um, the next part, again, is pretty straightforward. You're just gonna pick a symbol. Um, it can be any symbol, it doesn't matter um, what that is. Um, so just for simplicity's sakes, I'm just gonna choose the, we'll do an exclamation point, why not? And again, you apply that across the board. You're trying to create a process that's systematic so that you um, don't have to, yeah, exert yourself to try to remember what I was doing where. So uh, the last part is kind of a combination of a few things. So the last part's gonna be your number. Um, and how I do it, just to make uh, make sure I, I reach my eight characters, like I mentioned before, is I usually just start with a zero. Um, and then the process after this is I take my super secret part and I add up all the letters. So if we were gonna do BJCJ, um, what I do is I take all those letters, so there's four letters, and then add the um, the application, the first column's letter as well. So if it was four plus one, it'd be five. So five across the board, same thing here. My super secret part plus the first would be five. And this is where you get some variation. And um, so the four plus the TurboTax would actually be six. So uh, again, setting a process for yourself that you'll remember, but it also creates variation between your passwords. So. If we see this all written down, um, our passwords would look a little something like this. There's, oops, make sure you guys can see it there. BJCJ05. And then the last one would be BJCJ. So you can see from each of these, they're, they don't look like any word in particular. They're not going to be your cat's name. Uh, there's enough variation between the few and they won't, um, yeah, it's not going to be as easily guessed uh, doing it this way. So um, the only other thing I will mention is that the capital letter, so you can either choose to do that within your first column here where you just capitalize those or you can um, make a variation within your super secret part to make sure you have a capital letter worked throughout your passwords. So that's it. That's um, the system I've been using to uh, start remembering all my passwords and hopefully save myself some time uh, going back through the forgotten password route. Um, if you found this useful, I appreciate any just feedback or anything. It's um, just a fun way to yeah, share information and yeah, look forward to hearing if you found value in this or if you've applied this and how it's working for you or if I can answer any questions around it. So appreciate it. Have a good one.